Occupy Median. Yeah, I'm recording a video. Right there, right there, right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, it's right there. Okay, that's too bright. Oh yeah. Okay. So Ian Bobby is here, and uh, come on up, we're going to get to sit down. Uh, look at this Vince and Simon Bamford are here as well. And uh, Charles, there he is. Charles, there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Mr. Charles. And um, Martin Mercer, is, is he here somewhere? Did you make it, Martin? And Steve Hardy, the production designer, are you here? Oh, awesome. Um, and uh, Andrew Furtado, the editor of the Director's Cut. What are you? that uh, I think people have on their minds the most is, is they want to know if there's a lost musical number to Hellraiser. It's hello, Dolly. Hell. You know, it's, it's interesting because I, I, one of my favorite things in, the, in, in this is, is Anne singing. And she's amazing. She's amazing. Um, Anne, yay! <laughs> years of waiting for this to happen, and this is exactly the way it should be all that time. <sighs> to see this and think if this had come out like this at that time, I mean, it, it was so far ahead of its time, and people say that a lot, but the more research that I do into your world, I, I find that constantly to yeah, be the case. I don't know, I'm, I'm not being coy here, I'm not absolutely sure that if it had come out 25 years ago, people would necessarily have got it. Yeah. <laughs> Dead silence. Everyone's listening. Well, I, 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 just, I just feel as though there is always going to be a reluctance when it comes to celebrating the, uh, the odd and the strange. And this is a movie which, is, which celebrates everything that we are and that the people who run big uh, movie corporations are not. <laughs> right? Um, you know, uh, Simon just said to me, you know, it's about art, isn't it? And it is. It's a, you know, the, the night we represent the, 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 the need to and the urge to create, to, to be different. The need to be different. The appetite to be different. Not just the, the enforced necessity because you were born that way, though I was born this way. You know, I was born to make art and suck cock. But you know. <laughs> Um, and, but, but, then, 
then you get on with life because those are the things that you're given. God gives you the chance to be odd. Yes. And the devil gives you normality. The, uh, with a book that's coming out this spring, in case you guys don't know, the Scarlet Gospels brings Woo! closure. Woo! The mischievous question: What uh, what can we expect of Midian? Do you feel that this uh, is closure, or do we maybe? No, have... of course it isn't closure. I mean, you know, the, the, the you know what the end of this movie always signified was that you know Ashbury was to go out into the world and then and, and find these creatures and and Boone was to, to to save Baphomet to save save the Nightbreed um, and empower the Nightbreed. But you know, it was never going to happen because there was never. A, any support for this movie. Uh, um, now they're talking about making a TV show. Um, maybe that will happen, maybe it won't. Um, I know that there's stories in my heart about these characters, and I know that there's a story yet to tell, a, a, an epic story yet to tell about these characters, but I don't hold my breath because I've been disappointed a lot. But and there I has to be a Sondheim number. Say again? A Sondheim number. A Sondheim number would be yeah. nice. Yeah, right, yeah, into the woods. Um, um, but actually, the, 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 the nice thing is that I think we, we need to learn to be content with the things we've been given. And courtesy of fate and, 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 and uh, Mr. Mark Miller and, you know, and all, of all his team, um, I've been given this. And I, I don't think, it, I think it will be, um, it will be mean-spirited almost when you say, well, what else can I have? You know, what else can I have? Can I have another one of these? <laughs> um, in, in a way, this is a thing that is com complete unto itself. And I'm very, very, very grateful that it is in the world. And I think it's going to give a lot of people a lot of pleasure. And I think a lot of people who aren't even born yet are going to see something that I believe about the world put in, in the form of a movie. And I thought it would be lost forever. Tomorrow. It's unleashed on the world. Yeah, Tomorrow's the release date. I know. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very it's a very cool thought. 25 years in a day. You know, it's, uh, when I was one and saw this movie play, I said, 25 years now, I had to show. Mark, what do you uh, what do you think we should uh, ask Mr. Mark? Uh, I just I just want to know you never get to see it on the big screen the way it was meant to be seen. Well, I, I'm looking it through. I'm looking it through tears, so that doesn't really count. Um, I'm going to have to sit in the cinema without anybody around me and with with, with, with my Kleenex beside me and, and, and watch it for you and you know, anything else. It's, amazing, it's an amazing looking movie. And I think what's interesting is that the technology, the digital technology, didn't exist to clean this picture up 25 years ago. It looks better, it sounds better than it could have done 25 years ago. It is in many ways not just the movie I made, but a better version of the movie I made, technically. I love the mechanical effects. Yeah. I love that it's all costumes it's, and films. Yeah, and the, the, the fact that it's constant. Yeah. yeah. Everybody who made this movie was in this room right now. Because there were, you know, some of them yeah. passed on. Dickie Martin, who cut this picture, regrettably, is not with us anymore. He's an amazing talent. Um, um, and he's not the only one who's passed on. But I, I think there's, a, there's something about cinema which is very different from the other two things I do, which is writing and painting, which are lonely, you know, uh, solid, solitary occupations. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they, they they turn you in on yourself. Cinema drives you out into a collective endeavor. And if you have fun, then the memories are half the joy of it. Uh, unfortunately, in this, the memories were soured by, uh, by you know, some of the people I dealt with later. But those are all being, those are healed memories now. They're healed by tonight. like this happening with studio. Well, this, like this has never happened before. Yeah. I think, I genuinely think you're, you and I, all of us here are at, a, a, at an event which is a, I'm going to say a one-time only event. I don't think a movie has ever been restored to this level 
from such incoherence, <laughs> to such great coherence, from, from such, from such um, physical uh, ruined uh, condition to such sublime beauty. Um, I think we have so much to be grateful for. I have so much to be grateful for. I don't think it would have happened uh, without, you know. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> Which Anne initiated, uh, uh, you know, that that's another part of this of this great puzzle, this great human puzzle, which which made this possible. And um, you know, it's great for me to be here and say, oh, Clive Barker, this Clive Barker, that. No, everybody, everybody who made this, everybody who is involved in this, was involved then and is now, uh, are are part of this great party. That's why I wanted to put at the end of it. Thank you, Mark, and thank you, everybody else, for making this a great reunion, because that's what it is. It's a reunion for me with my imagination, with a dream I had 25 years ago. I want, I'm going I'm to take this opportunity to ask a personal question. Do you feel that... Seven and a half inches. <laughs> being completed in the way that it does has changed part of your perception of what the world is because it was such a negative experience that must have shaped decades. It would be nice if, it would be nice to say, I'm 62 now, it would be nice to say that I could pick up the cinematic dreams I had and follow them through with the new hope that this has given me. And I'm going to try and do that now. I mean, I, I had sort of given up on these, you know? You give, up, you give up on the weeks because there's so many punks and schmucks and, you know, who get in the way of, of, of artists doing the job. And that's not just me, it's not artists, it's Charlie and it's, it's, it's Anne and it's all the people who are, you know, and it's the, the makeup people and, you know, we, we, we want to do our job, right? And they get away. And um, I, I thought pretty much, I, I pretty much raised up my hands in su surrender and said, okay, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to try this anymore. I'm going to go home and write and paint, and at least I know that nobody will bother me when I do that. Yeah. Um, but now, boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's terribly tempting. <laughs> I'm just worried that if I get, I, I don't want to waste another year and a half of my life. Right. You know, nobody wants to do that, right? And nobody wants to waste time making something that is then taken away from you and, 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 and torn apart and, and, and invalidated. You've got an army of fans at this point, so... I've got to go home, unfortunately. I've got some stuff to do. I do want to just say, say thank you to everybody on the stage tonight, everybody out there. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I have to forgive me. I'll just come back from Britain, and my ears are pretty bad from the airplane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. They beat you around the head. With, with yeah. The <laughs> the ears go back. Yeah. Uh, we should get together and make a movie, Mr. Hardy. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. 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 But it, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Their digital restoration is superb. It's all done in hand puppets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.